Hello everyone. Welcome back to Microsoft 365 Central and today I am going to show you how you can create, edit, adjust or delete any columns within your SharePoint library. So as you all are already familiar with SharePoint, so without consuming any extra time, let's get started. So right now what you see on your screen is the SharePoint library and here at the bottom you can see all the files in my SharePoint library. So first of all, I would like to start with showing how the columns you can edit or how you can adjust your columns here in the view. So first you'll see the first column we have here is the file names. So this is a very basic and some of you already know this that when you are not able to view full name of your documents here. So you when you hover on the any of the columns you'll see that your pointer changes the view and from here you can easily drag and increase the size of a column so you can see your full name so that's way that's how you can adjust the width of your columns and you'll see all the different columns here this will be these are going to be your default columns like the file names when it, the file was last modified and who did modify the files and same way you can increase and decrease the width of all the columns in within your library on the top you will see there are a couple different options and we can talk about all of these later so now i want to start showing how you can create your own column let's say you have three default columns here within your library and you want to see if you have any new requirement for a column so i want to see that all these files it's re it gets really hard for me to find the specific file i'm looking for so for that i can go here where it says add column if i click here there will be a pop-up where i know which column i want to create so let's say i want to create a topic a column named topic so i'm gonna click next and on the right hand side you'll see create a column and i have to put a name so I'm going to add topic and description. I can put a short description topic of the document. And the type I want is single line or text. There are more options at the bottom where you can see if you the maximum characters allowed it 255. If you want each document to have a have a topic for like you, if you want to make it um, mandatory then you can select this one and if not then you can just minimize this more options and you can at the bottom you can hit save so this is going to create a new column for you it says topic so now how do i add a topic so if i have my first document here if i go and click on this document what i can do is by clicking on these three dots here I can go and check the properties and when I go in properties this is my document name and within the topic here I can go and enter for this I'm going to add the topic as SharePoint and as you can see it's gonna save and from the from here I can close this so down here in topic I we can see I have a topic named SharePoint let's try this with another document so what we can do is let's search for any other this one says outlook so this file will go here and same way we can click on properties and i want to edit the property for this one so i'm going to add topic and it's going to say outlook and i will click save so this will save my topic as outlook so now let's say if you have added this information but the only problem here is you still have to scroll all the way up and down so that way how you can do that is you can adjust your view where it says topic and you will see the down arrow if you click on that you'll have different options and one of the options should say group by topic so you can easily come here and group them and the whole view of your library should change so now you have different topics one topic says outlook and the other one says unassigned 
so now where it says unassigned these are all the ones which doesn't have a topic right now and you can see we have 27 files in unassigned so let's try this with another one i'm going to select this document and i'm going to add the topic for this specific file i'll go here in topic and what i'm going to do is i will add microsoft excel let's say this topic is related to excel when we hit and you can close it from here now you had 27 files here and now you can see you have 26 and there is another topic created which says excel so this is how you can play around once you have created your column when you want to go back you can just select a to z and this is gonna show you how all the files are here and on the top you can go select all documents so this is going to give you your default view again so now let's go ahead and create a new column let's say you have a column created topic but the only problem here is whoever the user is in the library they have to type these by themselves and you want to have a column where you get a drop down so for that you can hit add column and you have a bunch of options here from here you can select choice so the user won't have to type the values anymore they will be given a drop down or choice they can select from so let's go ahead and hit choice and click next now on the choice i'm going to name the column document type and on the type we already have choice so you have to insert the choice choice one i am going to say how to documents let's try choice two and on choice two i can add instructions and on topic three i can add demo scenario once i've entered you can add more choices from here you can remove the choices from here you can change the color for these choices let's say i want to change the color i want to bring the light blue color here and once i have this thing created you can choose from bottom that which ones do you want to keep a default i can leave this as none for now if i want to create all of these as how to documents i can leave this one and this will put the default value for all of the documents but for now i'm just going to leave it none and from down here you will have different options when you click on more options you can have these as radio buttons i'm going to keep them as drop down menu and then this is all the settings where you allow multiple selections or all the different options i'm going to minimize this and i can go ahead and save so now we can see I have a new document type created. So the good thing here is now the users won't have to add those values and there will be no typing errors or human errors anywhere. So let's go ahead and add document type for this one. I'm going to go more properties. Now where it says document type, if you click here, you are going to have a drop down. I cannot type my own personal value and I can leave I can I can select any of these so what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this one as demo scenario and close it from here so now I can see that these are this one is a demo scenario so let's do this for a bunch of files and then we can do grouping and sorting based on that so I have selected four different files so the good way is you can go click on these three dots you can go to properties the second way is on the top here you will see when you have selected multiple files you will see properties on the top so i can directly click on properties here and within the document type i'm going to give this as instructions and i'm going to click save so now you can see all my files have the label document type label as instructions and I'm just going to give the same to a bunch of these documents here you can 
go ahead on properties and document type let's see how to document and hit save so this will save now when we have created the document types here already so now you want to adjust them by document type let's say we did that for topic now let's group them by document type so go ahead and click on group by document type and minimize all so now you'll be able to see we have four documents within instructions we have four documents within how to and we have one document which says scenario based and the rest which are not assigned any document type these all will be under unassigned so i hope this is helpful when you are trying to create a new doc new column how you can play around with those with those columns and how you can change the view and how you can group these another thing is you can also group these by who has modified them recently so all the columns will have their different options within the columns and you can do a lot more filtering and all these within your columns now let's say you have created you're trying to create a column here and which is going to be just a normal information let's say you want to add year what year the document was created in and you're gonna hit on save sorry created year we already have a column here but that's hidden so i'm going to create this column created year and we have the column here and let's go ahead and same way we hit on properties and i'm going to add a created year on these files i'm going to hit 2023 add and click on save so now we can see we have created year for these two files but all of a sudden i see that there are going to be all the files are going to be the same year 2023 and i no longer need this column so what i can do is just in case in future if i need the column i can come here click on this arrow and i can see column settings from here i can hide this column i can move the columns to left and right i can format the column or i can even delete the column from here if i want to so just in case if i come here and i don't want to see this column every time i come here so what i can do is i can come here and hide this column for now so that's gonna hide my column let's say i have a column here and i want to hide this one or i want to move this to left so i can move the document type to left and the topic to the right right so next is let's say you have the document type and you have grouped your view with document type so you have all different document types now i have seen a lot of questions from different users that whenever someone is sending a file to such location where you have set up your own view and let's say you have a default view so the easiest way is you can drag and drop any files so i'm just going to drag a drop drag and drop a file here so right now you can see before i drop you can see that we have 20 unassigned files and when i drop the file here it's going to say uploading one item and now it's uploaded so now you'll start wondering where the file is so the file within where you see document type unassigned initially the files were 20 and now you can see there are 21 files and the file name i uploaded recently you can see a few seconds ago this was excel shortcuts so any file you drop in any of these library just dragging dragging and dropping them in this location will send the file to unassigned but at the same time what i can do is if you have these document types and this time you have to see how I can bring a file and drop it here so I'm going to drag a file if I drop it here in the open space it's going to be given the settings that it is an unassigned file it doesn't have any settings or any column values assigned but if I want to leave this file within instructions so I have to go and hover over this one here 
and you will see this is highlighted if i take it to how to documents it's going to highlight that section so i want to leave this under instructions right now we have four files and if i drop it there you will see the number of files here it's gonna say okay i already have a file i'm gonna hit keep both and you will see now i have the same file within instructions so i did not change the properties for this file but what i simply did was when i dragged and dropped the file here i have to drag and drop in this section here on the highlighted section and that's gonna by default give the values to the file give the properties to the file so that is really helpful when you have a lot of files in your library and you're trying to just drop any drag and drop any of the files here in your library so that is all for today and uh, there will be a video coming up shortly on library view in sharepoint that will explain in depth how you can set the view create any new view format or make your current view as a default for every time you enter the library and many more tips and tricks on how you can play around with your views in your library just so that whenever you are entering any library you find your wife you find all of your files the way you wanted them right so please like share and subscribe the video and stay tuned for the upcoming videos bye now